As the saying goes, genius and madness are often very close together. Accordingly, particularly clever inventors and scientists are often told that they are just as crazy as their inventions. The world-famous genius Nikola Tesla is said to have been no exception. On the contrary, the groundbreaking pioneer of the electronic world had some quirks and habits that were perceived as extremely absurd by those around him. One of Tesla's most famous traits was the fact that he had a strong passion for certain numbers, the numbers 3, 6, and 9. But how did this unusual obsession with numbers affect the inventor's everyday life? And what's the background to those ominous figures? Let's take a closer look at this exciting topic today. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about one of the most bizarre reasons why Tesla believed these numbers would change the world. Tesla's Number Games To understand the profound impact Tesla's obsession with numbers had on his life, it's worth looking at some of the genius inventor's habits. Accordingly, the physicist only moved into hotel rooms whose numbers were divisible by three. Before entering a building, the physicist walked around it three times. When it came time to clean his plate, Tesla always used exactly 18 napkins. Because of all these peculiarities, it's now taken for granted that this was not just a shrill quirk of a clever mind, but a fundamental belief. Some even go so far as to accuse Tesla of having severe obsessive-compulsive disorder. For a long time, the true background of this extraordinary love of numbers was speculated. In the meantime, some experts would like to have recognized that the physicist was in harmony with the universe in his peculiarities. According to this, the inventor of the numerical patterns, which occur like a universal law in all imaginable areas, was always aware. A mysterious sentence that Tesla once said in this regard also fits in with this. If you knew about the magnificence of the numbers 3, 6, and 9, you would have the key to the universe. It is certain that the cosmos actually has certain numerical patterns that it seems to follow. Accordingly, these are repeated, among other things, in the development of embryonic cells and in star constellations. In other words, it seems that nature is based on a basic mathematical order, the powers of the binary system. In detail, it's a pattern that starts with one and then continues to double. The development of cells also follows this principle. The one is followed by the two, then the four, the eight, etc. According to his own statements, the American Marco Rodin, who's not always undisputed, discovered another mathematical pattern that should explain why Tesla was obsessed with the numbers 3, 6, and 9, and what an incredible influence they have on the entire universe, the so-called vortex model. Divine Numbers First of all, the starting position. This says that creation was based on something immaterial that determined all the universal rules. In addition to the complex arrangements and spectacles of the cosmos, this also includes quite banal things. As soon as we let go of an object on Earth, it falls down. The object does not set any new rules during its fall, but follows the superordinate laws of nature that have always existed. What applies on a small scale can therefore also be applied to the entirety of creation. All developments that have been set in motion over millions of years have their origin in a common piece of information that preceded them. In addition, it's also true that all things are subject to certain mathematical laws. What's more, by decoding these number patterns, we could be able to transfer the originally invisible plan of the Creator into tangible patterns. The question of whether mankind discovered numbers in general, or whether they invented them themselves, is repeatedly at the center of philosophical discussions. However, for those who are convinced of vortex-based mathematics, one thing is certain. Since numbers define all overriding laws and rules, they can in no way have been invented by humans. Rather, the digits for decoding the world were revealed to us, and there's one particular number that has an almost sacred status within the vortex model, 9. 
since this number has a fundamental role in equations relating to energy, space, time, and matter, it sometimes becomes a divine number, or also called number of creation. Vortex Math Let's take a look at the core of vortex-based math at this point. In detail, the term vortex comes from the Latin language. This special mathematical modeling of mirror effects and multiplication tables serves to decode all natural systems, and thus also the previous creation. Thus, the vortex model shows us not only that all numbers interact and have a profound meaning, but also that 9 is superior to all other digits and embodies the finality of all things. However, it doesn't take long before you come across an apparently contradictory detail. Within his work, the esoteric scientist Marco Rodin recognized a fixed pattern that is repeated to infinity. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. The problem, the numbers 3 and 6 as well as the divine 9 do not appear in it at all. If you follow the supporters of the corresponding theory, there's a good reason for this. In fact, these numbers are supposed to represent a vector of the third and fourth dimensions. This should in turn be an ominous flow field, a kind of higher energy that has a direct influence on the energy cycle of the other numbers. Many religious writings would also prove to us that the number 9 in particular enjoys a divine status. Accordingly, it's written in the Quran that Allah has 99 different names. If we add 9 and 9, we get 18, the digit sum of which is 9 again. A similar numerical message is also said to be hidden in the holy scriptures of Christians. In the Revelation of John, for example, it's reported that the diabolical Antichrist is closely interwoven with the number 666. This is mathematical plagiarism, if you will, by which Christ's adversary is attempting to equal the Creator. The background, 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18, and 1 plus 8 is 9. Why the 9? But how is it that the number 9 of all things is assigned higher, even practically sacred properties? To understand the background of this belief, we should start with 1. If we double this, we get 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and doubling 8 is 16. The digit sum of 16, 1 plus 6, is 7. If we double the 16, we get 32, which is 3 plus 2, which is 5. No matter how long we continue this pattern, the numbers 3, 6, and 9 just don't want to appear in it. Now, starting by doubling the 3 and the 6, we soon encounter another interesting fact. 3 times 2 equals 6, and 6 doubled is 12, which brings us back to 3 via the digit sum. The exciting thing here is the fact that the mysterious 9 does not appear in this pattern either. However, if we now start doubling the 9, the corresponding checksum result will always be 9 or a multiple of it. Now let's assume that there are two opposite sides, which we could call light and dark. The respective sides are like north and south poles of a magnet. One side is 1, 2, and 4. The other, 8, 7, and 5. Much like electricity, everything else in the universe embodies a current between those two polar sides. If we imagine the movement of the swinging pendulum of numbers, we get something like a symbol for infinity. Even if the numbers 3 and 6 do not appear directly on the two sides, they still play a major role. Accordingly, the 3 governs the pattern of the numbers 1, 2, and 4, while the 6 takes over this task in the case of the numbers 8, 7, and 5. If you take a closer look at the pattern of 3 and 6, you'll notice that 3 and 6 add up to 9. For the proponents of vortex math, this means that the 9 represents the unity of the two sides. Or to put it in other, far more spectacular words, the number 9 is the universe itself. Evidence that the threefold and sixfold symmetry abound in the cosmos would come not only from the writings and structures of our ancestors, but also from nature itself. If we take a look at the world famous Giza Plateau, we're known to find the three great pyramids aligned with the stars of Orion's belt. In addition, the site is graced by three more of these ancient Egyptian structures, built adjacent to their larger counterparts. 
It's also no coincidence that the cells of the honeycomb are hexagonal of all things, according to the proponents of the corresponding theory. So, what remains to be recorded at the end of these complex number games? And what did Nikola Tesla himself say about the mysteries of the cosmos? In this regard, the genius physicist once said, If you want to find the mysteries of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. At the same time, Tesla also gave us a foretaste of the breathtaking possibilities that the complete decoding of this topic could open up for us. The inventor was certain. The day science begins to research non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in a decade than in all previous centuries of its existence. Sensory Perception and Eating Habits Tesla wasn't only obsessed with numbers, however. One of the key factors of Tesla's life that we often overlook these days is that he had a keen sensory system. According to those who knew him at the time, Tesla could predict when a thunderstorm was rolling in when it was more than 800 kilometers away. All of his senses seemed to be heightened at all hours of the day, allowing him to make bold predictions that, more often than not, turned out to be true. To add to this, he also had an incredible sense of hearing. It's been said that, at one point, Tesla was able to hear a pocket watch that was in someone's pants when they were several rooms away. Even crazier is that there were reports that Tesla could hear a fly landing on a wooden table that was several feet away. Sounds like this would be completely inaudible to ordinary people like us. However, to Tesla, they were a part of everyday life. One of the most well-known stories about Tesla is when he heard the sound of a train that was around 50 kilometers away. It was reported that Tesla perceived the sound as being so incredibly loud that he nearly had a nervous breakdown. In addition to his heightened sense of smell, Tesla also had a bizarre sense of taste to go along with it. He's known for being a remarkably picky eater and would take careful note of everything he put into his body. For example, any time he ate out of a dish, he would need to know the exact volume of the dish so that he could calculate how much food he would be eating. He would also always wear white gloves when he ate dinner and refuse to eat without them. Also, before taking a single bite of his meal, he would carefully calculate how much food was on his fork to make sure he didn't get too much or too little in a bite. He also had a very strict diet. In his younger years, he was a more adventurous eater and would even eat meat. However, as he got older, he removed meat from his diet and would eat only honey, bread, vegetable juice, and milk. Another aspect of Tesla's sensory issues that seemed to cause him a lot of distress was when women would wear sparkly jewelry. It's been said that Tesla couldn't stand for anyone to wear any sort of jewelry that would sparkle. The jewelry would cause him to become fixated to the point that he couldn't focus if he was having a conversation. At one point, he met a woman who he thought was quite lovely. However, he couldn't speak with her because her jewelry was too distracting. Even more bizarre is that when one of his secretaries showed up for work one day, he sent her home because she was wearing a pearl necklace. In the years since Tesla's death, many people have speculated that he may have had some sort of sensory disorder. Well, we don't know anything for sure. Some people have even speculated that he could have been on the autism spectrum, as overstimulation is known to be one of the primary traits of those who have autism. However, this is purely speculation, and without Tesla being around today for a proper examination, we'll never know for sure. What do you think of Tesla's number obsession and assumptions from the world of vortex math? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date from now on. Finally, please take a look at the other posts on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the pictures in the credits. Thank you for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.